hi guys uh, good morning and welcome back kirloskar oil engine has published its results so we'll try to review those results before going to that let me give a disclaimer that the content we are discussing is only for educational purpose it is not a buy or sell recommendation guys without any further delay directly let us uh, jump into the highlights of the results if you look at the highlights of the results so sales uh, up about six percent year on year and ebit up by 21 percent year on year and net profit uh, jumps to 20 percent year on year eps uh, surges to 27% year on year guys so let us take a look into the uh, detail uh, view on this this is the consolidated report uh, which i have opened from the official website which is uh, the for, for the quarter ended 30th june 2024 all the numbers presented over here are in crores so this is the june quarter of last year march quarter of this year june quarter of this year so if we we'll take a look at the total income so last year june quarter was 1549 crores and uh, uh, in the March quarter it was 1,667 crores, in this June quarter it was 1,647 crores. So year on year up is there, quarter on quarter downtrend is there guys. Slight down, 67.47. So just like you know 20 crore, 20 crore difference. So then uh, let us take a look into the expenses that the company uh, total expenses. Uh, if you look at uh, last year. Uh, June quarter it was 1380 crores, in the March quarter it was 1484 crores, June quarter of this year uh, it was 1444 crores, year on year up is there, quarter on quarter uh, downfall is there as the revenue is also uh, fell in the quarter, but here 1484, 1444. So then after removing the expenses and uh, exceptional items from the revenue, then we will get the profit before tax. If you look at the profit before tax, it is 170 crores in the last year June quarter, 198 in the March quarter, 211 crores in the June quarter of this year. Year on year, quarter on quarter, both uptrend is there when it comes to profit before tax. So then comes the net profit after removing the taxes and all from the PBT, we will get the PAT. If you look at the net uh, PAT, Last year June quarter it was 1025, I mean sorry, 125 crores and uh, in the March quarter it was 146 crores, in the in this year June quarter it was 156 crores, year on year, quarter on quarter, both up is there. So the, the results seems to be fine when it comes to revenue, uh, the company, uh, 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 company's uh, numbers when it comes to revenue, quarter on quarter, a little bit uh, downfall is there, but when it comes to PBT and uh, PAT, so both quarter and quarter uh, very good numbers so then comes uh, the earning per share basic eps in the last year june quarter it was 8.67 in the march quarter of this year it was 10.25 in the june quarter it was 10.99 guys so all and all uh, results seems to be a, a very good numbers when it comes to quarter and quarter both year on year as well so keep this stock in your radar for today for today market session already yesterday it has uh, given almost like you know six percent rally uh, uh, this company uh, is uh, like you know uh, available at uh, still available at 20 percent uh, discount it has corrected from its all time high and in one year it has given uh, uh, 150 percent returns and yesterday it's also given 6.45 percent returns and uh, these results are uh, returns are not because of uh, results uh, this is not on the backup numbers because the company announced its results after our indian market close uh, which is announced at uh, uh, i think at 6 pm around so uh, keep this stock in your radar, it is having the market cap of uh, 16,000 crores guys. So if you like my content, please hit the like button, share and subscribe guys. Thank you, thank you so very much.